Hello there, my name is Tim Walter. I'm a geomancer and a life coach. Now geomancy in this respect means that I clear energy fields from people's houses that are detrimental for them. So some people can be susceptible and uh, react poorly to some of the natural energy fields that we find created by nature or indeed created by technology that we're using today. But that's not what I want to talk to you about today. What I want to talk to you about is actually about the way that we uh, function within all of these energy fields and within all of this thing that we call life um, and associate that with the law of attraction, the way that we can create things in our worlds for ourselves by conscious thought and by basically interacting with the management upstairs, the management being a term for the angels and the ultimate creator or the universe, whatever you want to call it. Now if you've watched some of my past videos you would have seen the last one I did which was about the fact that my wife and I were moving into a house that we were expecting to move into and I was talking in that instance about the way that we can as individuals uh, learn to communicate with three different guardian energies of any property and there are usually three in uh, most properties. Uh, and in that video I used pictures of the house that we were expecting to move into. And what I want to talk to you about today is the way that actually life has this habit, even though we think we're in control of the manifesting process, of not throwing up what we're expecting. And uh, this is what I wasn't expecting. You may think that we've moved into that house, but we haven't in fact. We're several miles away. This is a different house altogether. This is actually a rented house. And the reason that we're in this one is because on the day of exchange, the day that we were due to exchange contracts in order to secure the house that we wanted, the seller that we were buying from pulled out. He decided, just completely decided, unexpectedly, that he didn't want to do it anymore. And so on the day of exchange, woof, off he went. Now that, as you can imagine, was quite a shock, especially as we only had eight days from that day to actually get out of our house because we'd set up um, the sale of our house um, as a separate event to the purchase of the next one. There are reasons that we did that. But the fact was, we were left in a situation where I had been convinced that we were going to be moving into that particular house, but the management had different plans. So once I got over the shock of the fact that we weren't going to be going there, it was like, oh, okay, so we won't be doing that then. So what's available? I realised, of course, that actually um, about a week earlier, we had been contacted by the estate agent of a house that we had looked at way back, way six months ago. And the agent was saying, well, that house, that original house that we were interested in, was back on the market. But of course, that still left us with eight days that we had to get out of the house we were in. So what was to happen? Well, I started to look around what was available, and there are always rental properties available, of course, but usually just tied into a six-month contract to start with. And that we didn't want that because we wanted to get a short-term uh, rental to tide us over. What actually happened was that we found two properties. One of them is this one. Um, which the landlords were extremely flexible. I mean, we'd never come across landlords that were so flexible, they're just like so relaxed about, yeah, move in when we just need to sign a little bit of paperwork, um, as long as you like, whatever you want, one month, two months, whatever. And both landlords were like this. And you know, it's at times like that when something unusual like that happens that you recognize the hand of the management yet again. So all of the time during this potential crisis, there was that feeling that, yes, it's all a bit, well, hey, what's going on? But the point is the management had our backs. Now, that is the benefit of living life from the point of view, I suppose spiritual is the word I'm trying to avoid using, but living life from a spiritual point of view. If we accept that there's an energy, a force out there that actually has a control, has an input into our lives, then we might want to label that as God or the universe or the ultimate creator or the management, because there are many different levels of that energy that come through and affect our lives. But what I'm saying is that it, this is the reason why it's a great aspect to live from and to try and adopt and to understand because it enables one to actually ride the chaotic moments of one's life with a certain amount of confidence and a surety that things will actually be okay. And what we do when we sort of reject all of this spiritual aspect of life is we actually 
turn away, we close a door on a massive amount of potential help for calm and peace and tranquility in our lives. And more and more, I am coming across people that are, young people as well, that are very, very stressed. They feel that there is no time in their lives. They feel that they just cannot keep up. They are too stressed by life, by the pressures of work. And a lot of this is self-generated. It's what we've created. The world that we exist in is what we have created for ourselves. But there are ways out of this kind of stress. And a lot of it is to do with taking that moment, taking the breath, understanding that actually what we're feeling isn't really part of us. Now these are all very vague statements and to be honest I didn't actually want to get into this depth of stuff in this particular video. Suffice it to say that the work I do as a geomancer and a life coach is interacting with some of these energies. I can teach people how to do that and it's not like somebody wrote to me recently and said oh they thought that that one had to have a special gift to be able to interact with and be aware of these things, these aspects of reality. And, and you don't, and I'm living proof that you don't have to have a special gift. I'm just an ordinary guy that's had some extraordinary experiences that have led me to this point in my life. So what I do as a geomancer, I'm coming back to that again, is to work with these energies and bring wellness to people and help them learn how to bring peace to their own lives. That's all I wanted to say really. And this example of moving house, one of the most stressful things that we can do in our lives apparently, has served as a hook for that message. But the main point is, I want you to take away from this video, is that you do have some control and there are ways of finding peace in a world that just seems to be falling apart around your ears.